I think I think when we went into the first session, I think you get the nail on the head where you separated men from women with regards to men being slightly more sceptical. <laughs> Because well, I, I felt, I felt to be skeptical. I absolutely, absolutely no problem. Absolutely, with because I think most of the guys in there seemed we were all roughly. I think we were slightly older than the other couples, apart from one other couple who oh, yeah. didn't come back. But we we found I found it quite enlightening actually after coming back from the first session, and very tiring actually. <laughs> I was so relaxed when I came back because um, I think when you learn, you, I think you have to be slightly uncomfortable to learn. Otherwise, you're not in your kind of comfort area. Kind of just kind of job job wise for me, um, and I, I I was quite sceptical about it starting, but the whole thing was about coming along and attending it for Joe because Joe's got to go through the through the hard bit. So what I found that I got out from that first session was the explanation that I can I can impact the room when Joe's in there actually doing a hard job. I can make that job so much easier by not dictating things that go on, but managing. My relationship with the midwife, my relationship with the doctor who's there, and then giving Joe the time to relax and do what she needs to do. Mm. So that's what I got out from the first session. Well, and you do end up, I think the exercises as well, um, make the the father or whoever's your birthing partner um, involved and necessary and important, whereas normally it's uh, in you go, you sit over there, grab a you book, know, we'll take <laughs> over, we'll do this. <laughs> You know, it shouldn't be like that because you need somebody that you trust and you need somebody that's been sort of, I suppose, along for the whole journey so that they know what you what you're trying to achieve rather than what it says in a book or what's supposed to happen or um, because it's also different, isn't it? They're, yes. The, each birth's different as well. So even if it's your second baby or your your third or fourth. Um, they're all different again, aren't they? So you have to be open-minded and have somebody that you trust, I suppose. And the number of mothers who said it was his voice for carrying me through, that's what made all the difference. That's yeah. very, very hard. Yeah, absolutely. Especially um, when you've reached that point where you think, oh no, and then you think, oh brilliant, it, I've reached that point that I know now that um, you know, now's the time to focus. I think what allowed us as well when we came back, we, we, we read the book. Mm -hmm start to finish several times. I think Joe read it four or five times because we had four or five months before we So Joe was a continuous uh, message uh, that was coming through uh, and listening obviously to the CD that we had uh, when Joe, because at the later stage of pregnancy Joe was you know, not, not the most comfortable in the world and it helped her relax prior to anything going on. And for me it felt as though I had more tools to be more helpful 